First, there was the KG805G, then came the KG905G, and then the KG935G. Now, Ocean has branded a new model, and this one adds some features that is sure to interest many operators of the GMRS. Now we have the KGS88G. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a radio that we've been working on for uh, quite a while now. It's built on Ocean's, uh, on a new platform from Ocean. This uh, is a smaller type hardware platform. So it's a, a lighter, more compact radio compared to the other models that we mentioned. Um, and it, it has some hardware features that were not previously available in any of the Ocean models, such as uh, Rick, you already mentioned the USB C charging port. Yep. Um, as well as IP67 waterproof, which is um, fully submersible. So this, this radio can be dropped in a puddle. And uh, I guess, depending on the depth of the puddle, it can be dropped in a puddle and it will be completely fine and still usable. Uh, what, what are the specs on that, Rick? Is uh, IP67, it can be underwater for one, uh, one meter for 30 minutes. Am I right there? Yeah, I believe up to one meter of water for uh, up to 30 minutes. Yes. The other thing we get asked about quite a bit is the receiver type. This is a super heterodyne receiver radio, just like the KG805G and the KG905G. So it's uh, sort of I guess you could say it's a real radio, like the, the circuit on the uh, radio is uh, like the same thing you would see on a high-end radio from a, a major brand manufacturer. I'm not going to name any names, but you know who I'm uh, <laughs> we're talking about, you know, these um, big names that you hear. It, it, the circuit is designed similarly to radios from those manufacturers. Of course... That doesn't mean that you have to ditch your KG935G uh, for this because it's a direct conversion receiver. You know, we can talk a little bit about that super heterodyne versus direct conversion uh, maybe a little bit later on because there are those out there who just swear by the super heterodyne receiver and say that is the ultimate and you don't, you shouldn't buy anything but that. And then there are others on the other end of the spectrum saying that it really doesn't matter a whole lot. Uh, and really, the truth is somewhere a little bit in between, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I hate to get uh, distracted on the, the super heterodyne topic, but uh, briefly, um, yeah, like the, the KG935G is the most popular ocean gmrs radio and it is a direct conversion receiver not a super heterodyne and you get a lot of functionality in that radio for um you know a pretty value price um so that's an advantage of a direct conversion receiver and most people are never going to be able to tell the difference as far as you know using the radio it, it works just as well as a super heterodyne radio so what we're looking at here is a super heterodyne receiver and a full DTMF keypad. What, are, what does that really mean? Now, people ask, DTMF, what is DTMF and what does that really mean? And is that really important to, to these radios? No, I don't think the DTMF functionality is, is important to anyone. I, I think that the keypad on the radio is important to people. Uh, because it does, uh, the, the big thing that the keypad enables is frequency mode or VFO mode, where you can uh, change it to uh, the frequency mode and using the keypad, type in a direct frequency that you want the radio to, uh, to move to, or uh, it could be a receive only frequency. Uh, anywhere in the, uh, I believe, 4, 8, 400 to 480 megahertz range on this radio. So using the keypad, the keypad makes it super easy to just dial in whatever frequency you want to listen on quickly. They say DTMF keypad because if you're holding down the push to talk button, you can also press a number and it'll transmit a DTMF tone that corresponds to that number. But realistically, no one uses it for that, that functionality. There are uh, some features that 
that are wrapped around that, but they 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 probably aren't anything most people are going to be interested in. Not for the GMRS anyway. 